So nowadays there are a couple of ways you can make progress in a game. Usually it's the freemium version where you can just and the paid version. And the paid version usually will have some kind of element that indicates that it's locked until you make the purchase. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to create this lock and the chain. So let's begin. Hmm. Maybe this time I should start with other shape rather than the rectangle with the wrong corners. But then, if you think about it, isn't it just a rectangle with the wrong corners? Let's create the chain first. And of course, let's do rectangle and give it some round corners. Now make sure you don't have any fill color and all you have is just the stroke color. Make it bright so that you see what exactly you're doing and increase its stroke size to 120 looks good. So here we have our first chain link and let's create another one. Duplicate this one by holding Alt and Shift and dragging it sideways. Now Ctrl T and shrink it by holding Alt and Shift. Now change the color of this stroke. Decrease the amounts of radius so that you have two points on your shape. Erase these two points here. Now let's go to the stroke options. And here on the caps, we will do the rounded edges. Duplicate it underneath the first chain link. And now Ctrl C, right click on the mouse and flip vertical. Now bring it a little bit up. Here is your second chain link. Now all we need to do is give it some effects and duplicate it bunch of times. So let's give it the effects that we want. Okay, so what we need is actually a few inner shadows. So eventually we need to make our chain link look something like this. It's not perfect, I know. And here are the parameters once again. So one by one. First we had the inner shadow to make it round. These are the parameters for it. Then we added some kind of reflection to the bottom part of this chain link. And these are the parameters for this one. Then we had a reflective highlight on the top part of this chain link and additional tint on top of everything. And of course, we also change the color of this chain link to this off-white blue with 70% opacity to it. Now for the second chain link. And what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this effect that we did on the first chain link and apply it to the part that goes above the previous one. But here we don't need this tint, we don't need this highlight, and we can make the color overlay less noticeable like drop the opacity of the color overlay to about, I don't know, 50 or whatever looks good to you. The inner shadow that we did in the beginning, we can bring it higher in the distance and also make it more feathered. The inner shadow that goes above it, the bottom reflection, we can bring it higher as well. Now enable the tint that we did again and bring its distance higher like this. To give it this metallic transition, maybe a little more gray to this color. Now, moment of truth. Let's duplicate this effect to our bottom part of this same chain link. And amazingly, it looks quite nice. And as you can see, there is this lack of connection in between those parts. But you know what? No one's going to know. So I copied and pasted it a few times. And as you can see, I have this chain that extends a little bit farther than the canvas that I work on. Select everything and convert to smart object. It looks nice, but it lacks this elasticity that chains have. There's a very nice tool to make this chain look real, and it's called the Puppet Warp. And once you have this grid appear, you need to give it few dots to anchor this element. So for example, if we want to anchor this chain here, where chains would be naturally anchored to something. So just click once and then click on the other part here. And as you can see, you can move this chain to whatever direction you like. If you have these two dots and you click another one, for example, here, then you actually can make this chain curved as if it's bending. And we did it in a simple way. 
And now when we have the chain ready, let's move on to making the lock. Create a rectangle and surprisingly give it round corners. All we need is the stroke. So remove the fill color. Let's make it 170. Now paste the same layer style that we had for our first chain link. Create another rectangle and give it some round corners. But this time we don't need the stroke and we do need the fill color. The yellow, orangey color. Adjust the corners a little bit so that it represents a lock in a way. Now the bottom corners can be rounder. Now let's duplicate this one and drag it sideways. And let's change its color to this orange tints bring it a little bit down adjust this corner here so that it matches the shape better okay now let's make this signature keyhole and to be honest if this would be a little lock icon this would be enough when it's small all you need is this flat base colors to make it as readable as possible but i want to show you how you can take this and make it better more realistic so first let's adjust the silver part of this lock so here on the shadow let's make it a little bit darker and a little bit bluer and let's give it a direction this other part should also have direction from left to right just like this here this inner shadow that's the reflective element should be even with linear dodge um, tin that we had should also be represented here like this nice a huge change already now let's take care of this golden element here and let's see from easy to hard first what we need to have is a shine that's passing on it gradient overlay that goes from the side and let's adjust this opacity stops here adjust its color to this bright yellow color and adjust its location reverse it yes looks better now let's adjust this parameter here as well we also can have another opacity stop here like so looking good very interesting addition that took us one layer style now let's have another gradient overlay from one side and let's make these colors very bright yellow like this let's see if the linear dodge can help it makes it pop even more maybe this color can be also a little bit more orange now let's have this element here a little bit more interesting so to give it some playfulness now let's add a few elements like what we had on the main shape some kind of gradient that's hitting from the bottom and some reflections here on this side okay we can drop the opacity a little bit give it some inner shadow orange colors this gradient here i think can look better make the same opacity stop like what we had previously course it should have some kind of angle upper part again let's add some playfulness to it a little wider on the bottom and a little thinner on the upper part okay so second phase of this log is also done so it's a little bit more refined so in terms of the render quality it's somewhere in the middle but we're not done yet so now let's add more detail to this lock and let's start by this upper part for example the inner shadow that we will do on the linear dodge just like that to add this kind of roundness to it okay so something like this now we need to have some transition edge to this side let's give the upper part of the lock a name and let's just call it upper and this one we will call side okay hold control on your keyboard and click on this upper element create a new layer fill it with some color it doesn't really matter what color and nudge it a little bit to the side we're gonna apply a few brush strokes to it b to select your brush with bright colors and a brush set to hardness on zero with quite big size just give it a few passes 
here and there maybe add some white highlights don't just go with one size and you see how suddenly it adds this kind of interesting elements to this shape nothing special but just you know don't stick to something particular just explore and you will be amazed on how many nice elements you can actually come up with now we need to make this edge layer a clipping mess and let's call it this one edge and to make this layer a clipping mess you can either right click create a clipping mask and this is how you do it or you can just alt bring your mouse in between them and once the cursor changes to this arrow and a square you can just click and it will create a clipping mask for this layer here let's apply some glowing layer style so outer glow orange because we want it to shine and we want this shine to stay in the boundaries of this side element so this is why we are doing it i think that this side color can be darker something like this and also some of the parameters that we did like here can be also sharper maybe add another one and make it yellow looks nice okay now drop shadow on this side element have it rotated and this opacity should be stronger the size should be bigger and let's give it this yellow glow here and let's do the same for this upper element as well the size can be bigger and distance smaller and the same we can do for this silver part this keyhole here can also have some effect to it we just need an inner shadow to go inside so that it represents some kind of depth to this lock element so something like this darker colors we also can have some gradient brownish tints like so drop shadow to make some kind of edge representation and of course have it on some kind of blending mode overlay works really nice here and another drop shadow on normal with angle and distance so here it should be yellow spread zero distance and size somewhat big and another one just like that but on the other direction a little bit darker color something like this and now as i look at this uh, drop shadow that we did uh, overlay doesn't really fit here so let's just make it this yellow here suits much better drop the spread a little bit maybe increase the size and now let's add some decorations to this upper part so that it doesn't look so boring It kind of looks like a cat now. <laughs> okay, so be it. We need to also make some kind of reflection of this golden element here on our silver element. So let's create a new layer, make it a clipping mask of this one. And let's just do it with a brush. Let's just go over it real quick. Just select this yellowish color and go over this shape inside of the silver element enable the blend interior effect as group and disable the blend clipped layer as group and now you will see your clipping mask much better so basically you should paint where it should be reflected apply some blur tool to this upper part and also to this side here as well now let's put all those layers inside a group by selecting them and Control G to create a group. Let's call it lock. And let's put this lock inside the group by selecting it and pressing Control G. Let's call it lock master, whatever. And here create a new layer and give it some nice flares like this. On the most reflected areas of this lock, there should be this glowing effect. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Let's create a uh, smart object i think we can iterate this lock a little bit more to make to make it even more interesting cool enable the chain layer again make this lock smaller so that it sits well in this composition let's create a mask and let's just go over it with the mouse okay looks good we need to just make some overpaint on top of this element to blend it better with what's going on right now uh, with these chains so just let's have some kind of shadow 
going on like this we need to erase some parts here and there maybe we can give this chain a tint of orange so that it doesn't look so pale and maybe even some levels adjustments and some color balance and some highlights we also can have some kind of outer glow and in this case this shadow cannot be blue anymore but it actually needs to be brown and we're done if you're still watching know this you rock thank you for sticking to the end of this video and thank you for the great comments and the support on youtube i'm excited to know that these videos are actually helping people thank you from the bottom of my heart and of course as usual don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel in case you still haven't and if this is the first video you see on the channel then you definitely should go and check this video as well